probability has a dual aspect. On the one hand the probability or likelihood of hypotheses given the evidence for them, and on the other hand the behavior of stochastic processes such as the throwing of dice or coins. The study of the former is historically older in, for example, the law of evidence. While the mathematical treatment of dice began with the work of Cardano, Pascal and Fermat between the 16th and 17th century, probability is distinguished from statistics. While statistics deals with data and inferences from it, probability deals with the stochastic processes which lie behind data or outcomes. Etymology Probable and probability and their cognates in other modern languages derive from medieval learned Latin probabilis and deriving from Cicero and generally applied to an opinion to mean plausible or generally approved. The mathematical sense of the term is from 1718. In the 18th century, the term chance was also used in the mathematical sense of probability. This word is ultimately from Latin cadentia, i.e., a fall, case. The English adjective likely is of Germanic origin, most likely from Old Norse likely, originally meaning having the appearance of being strong or able, having the similar appearance or qualities, with a meaning of probably, recorded from the late 14th century. Similarly, the derived noun likelihood had a meaning of similarity, resemblance, but took on a meaning of probability from the mid-15th century. Origins Ancient and medieval law of evidence developed a grading of degrees of proof, probabilities, presumptions and half-proof to deal with the uncertainties of evidence in court. In Renaissance times, betting was discussed in terms of odds such as 10 to 1, and maritime insurance premiums were estimated based on intuitive risks. But there was no theory on how to calculate such odds or premiums. The mathematical methods of probability arose in the correspondence of Gerolamo Cardano, Pierre de Fermat and Blaise Pascal on such questions as the fair division of the stake in an interrupter game of chance. Christian Wiegens gave a comprehensive treatment of the subject. From Games, Gods and Gambling, ISBN 978-0-85264-171-2 2 by F. N. David. In ancient times there were games played using astragali, or tailor spoon. The pottery of ancient Greece was evidence to show that there was a circle drawn on the floor and the astragali were tossed into this circle, much like playing marbles. In Egypt, excavators of tombs found a game they called hounds and jackals, which closely resembles the modern game snakes and ladders. It seems that this is the early stages of the creation of dice. First dice game mentioned in literature of the Christian era was called Hazard, played with two or three dice, thought to have been brought to Europe by the knights returning from the Crusades. Dante Alighieri mentions this game. A commenter of Dante puts further thought into this game. The thought was that with three dice, the lowest number you can get is three, an ace for every die. Achieving a four can be done with three die by having a two on one die and aces on the other two dice. Cardano also thought about the throwing of three die. Three dice are thrown. There are the same number of ways to throw a nine as there are a ten. For a nine, and for ten. From this, Cardano found that the probability of throwing a 9 is less than that of throwing a 10. He also demonstrated the efficacy of defining odds as the ratio of favorable to unfavorable outcomes. In addition, the famous Galileo wrote about die throwing sometime between 1613 and 1623, essentially thought about Cardano's problem about the probability of throwing a 9 is less than throwing a 10. Galileo had the following to say, Certain numbers have the ability to be thrown because there are more ways to create that number. Although 9 and 10 have the same number of ways to be created, 10 is considered by dice players to be more common than 9. 18th century. Jacob Bernoulli's Ars Conjectan and Abraham de Moivre's The Doctrine of Chances put probability on a sound mathematical footing showing how to calculate a wide range of complex probabilities. 
Bernoulli proved a version of the fundamental law of large numbers, which states that in a large number of trials, the average of the outcomes is likely to be very close to the expected value. For example, in 1,000 throws of a fair coin, it is likely that there are close to 500 heads. 19th century the power of probabilistic methods in dealing with uncertainty was shown by Gauss's determination of the orbit of series from a few observations. The theory of errors used the method of least squares to correct error-prone observations, especially in astronomy, based on the assumption of a normal distribution of errors to determine the most likely true value. In 1812, Laplace issued his Theorie Analytique des Probabilités, in which he consolidated and laid down many fundamental results in probability and statistics such as the moment-generating function, method of least squares, inductive probability, and hypothesis testing. Towards the end of the 19th century, a major success of explanation in terms of probabilities was the statistical mechanics of Ludwig Boltzmann and J. Willard Gibbs which explained properties of gases such as temperature in terms of the random motions of large numbers of particles. The field of the history of probability itself was established by Isaac Todd Hunter's monumental history of the mathematical theory of probability from the time of Pascal to that of Lagrange. 20th century, probability and statistics became closely connected through the work on hypothesis testing of R. A. Fisher and Jersey Neyman, which is now widely applied in biological and psychological experiments and in clinical trials of drugs as well as in economics and elsewhere. A hypothesis, for example, that a drug is usually effective, gives rise to a probability distribution that would be observed if the hypothesis is true. If observations approximately agree with the hypothesis, it is confirmed, if not, the hypothesis is rejected. The theory of stochastic processes broadened into such areas as Markov processes and Brownian motion. The random movement of tiny particles suspended in a fluid, that provided a model for the study of random fluctuations in stock markets, leading to the use of sophisticated probability models in mathematical finance, including such successes as the widely used Black-Scholes formula for the valuation of options. The 20th century also saw long-running disputes on the interpretations of probability. In the mid-century frequentism was dominant, holding that probability means long-run relative frequency in a large number of trials. At the end of the century there was some revival of the Bayesian view, according to which the fundamental notion of probability is how well a proposition is supported by the evidence for it. The mathematical treatment of probabilities, especially when there are infinitely many possible outcomes, was facilitated by Kolmogorov's axioms.